How's it going YouTube? This is Cinco, and uh, I'm going to be doing my second tutorial for you today and this is the uh, Jigsaw Transition. Uh, there's a preset for it in Sony Vegas. Uh, there's not in the Adobe products, uh, but but you you're just as capable. You can do it just the same. And personally, I think the quality comes out looking better. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that preset works. It's just all the work I've seen done with it. Uh, there's often blurry lines around the edges, stuff like that. Uh, so um, yeah, this is a good technique. You'll still be able to do this if you have Sony Vegas. Um, you'll just need a Photoshop or another. Um, uh, program where you can work with still images. So uh, let me show you what we're going to be doing here. It's going to look like this. You have your first clip and then it transitions in there. You see that? And so that it's, it's a nice transition and all the pieces kind of fit together like puzzle pieces. That's why it's the jigsaw effect. So um, yeah, so let's let's get started now. Uh, so this is this is what it'll look like uh, in your uh, in your composition. You'll have your first clip here on my uh, the triple on uh, vacant, and then you're going to have each each layer. This is going to be uh, still images that you've cut out um, from your second clip. So you see you have first you have the gun come in, and then this this is the bottom already starting to kind of peak here. So then that comes in. See you still have a little spot here. Then you scroll a little far, a little farther, and it comes down and fits together like a puzzle piece. And then the uh, the clip starts. So it's it's a cool effect. Uh, it's very useful. Um, okay, so so let's get started. So that that's what it'll look like when you're done. But so here here's the two clips that I'm using with no transition. Okay. So what we're going to want to do now, and and like I said in my last tutorial, um, if you don't, if you didn't purchase uh, one of the uh, you know Adobe Suites or whatever, you're not going to be able to do this specifically. You'll have to render it out and then take it into After Effects. So um, what I'm going to do is let's we, you can say that I rendered it out. This this will be equivalent to you rendering it out if you don't have Dynamic Link. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll, we'll take the clip where we're going to be using. Uh, for the transition, so the, the the second clip, we'll take that into After Effects. All right, so here's our clip right here. So we're gonna want to go to the very beginning. All right, this is our very very first frame. You scroll to the very very front, and then you're gonna go forward one frame. You're gonna go Edit, Split Layer. All right, so see that split it there and dropped the first frame into its own layer and disconnected it from the top layer. So you don't need this anymore, so we'll just go ahead and delete that. Now you're going to want to bring your work area all the way in. So it's just that one frame that is selected. You see, so that's the only thing that's going to get rendered out. All right, now you're going to go Composition, Add to Render Queue. All right, you'll save, you know, you'll make your own name and stuff. But this is this is where you gotta you gotta be careful here. So you're going to want to select as the format. Oh, and I'm sorry, you go to Output Module and then Format, and you're going to want to select one of the image sequences. So I use PNG, you can use TIFF, Targa, you can use any of those. Personally, I just I just like PNG. So we'll go ahead and do that, and now we'll render it out. Make sure this goes into a folder that I want. Okay, so that'll work. And then uh, we'll render that. It only takes a second because it's only one frame, so that's already done. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go into Photoshop. Okay? Oh, see, so here this let me show you what this is going to look like. So you're going to have puzzle pieces. You're basically going to take the still image of the first frame, the way the video starts, and create puzzle pieces. So see there's the gun. It's not cut out perfectly. You know, you'll want to do a better job in an actual uh an actual montage or something, but you look at different layers, see? And and let me say something else. See, you don't see the gun go away there. Because uh the way I animate, it, I animate it from the bottom down here to the top so it doesn't really matter that uh, the gun is still there now if you were going to animate it in from the side or if you were going to have this the bottom section come in from the top you would probably you might want to animate the gun out otherwise you're going to have two guns coming in maybe not might look kind of cool uh, but see so then there's the top there you see so it, it's a cool effect but you're so all it is is still images that you're combining together and you add that right before the first frame of your next clip and it kind of uh, transitions in and, and, and works perfectly so um, okay, so now let's start a new one. We're gonna go File New, and we're gonna want to save this as the same format you're using. I'm using my video is in 1280 by 720, so that's what we'll use. Resolution I use 75 pixels per centimeter, and then you want to make sure you're using 16-bit. If you use 32-bit, the color depth um, 
or after or after I'm sorry, uh Premiere Pro and After Effects won't read the thirty two bit color depth. So you have to use sixteen or or eight. Um I believe it's eight. Yeah, eight. So but I, I recommend sixteen and then you want background contents transparent. Title it whatever you want. Um okay, so now let's get started here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our still image which was, let's see, it was Comp 2, that's what it was titled. I have two of them, it doesn't matter, but this is the one we just rendered out. We'll drag that in, hit it, see, it, it's not placed yet. You won't be able to add any effects until you hit Enter and place the, place the image. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to want to select the Pen tool, and then you're going you're gonna to cut out your first piece, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this very crude, just, because, just for you know, time's sake. So there's the first one. All right, and then you're going to want to with with the pen tool still selected, you're going to over the image, you're going to select the layer, right click it. I'm sorry, right click the um your vector mask which, or your mask and choose create vector mask. Okay? So there. So that's that's cut out again. Remember I didn't do it perfectly. It doesn't exactly look like the gun, but you get the idea. Okay, so there's that now. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new layer, so layer new layer doesn't matter what you title it you can you know for for organization purposes you're you know feel free to label it whatever you want so with that layer selected we're gonna go ahead and turn this one off for a second we're gonna go into and we're gonna drag our image into the into there again for the second layer we'll place it and then we're gonna create another vector mask based on how you want the image to come in and now you can get really creative with this you could maybe bring in the you know the tractor by itself or you know whatever I just did it really basic so that you could uh, get the idea okay so there's uh, there's that and we'll create the right click again create vector mask okay so now we have this so we have our two layers now. Again, remember you can cut out the gun separately. It depends on how you're going to be animating them. Okay, now we're going to do it one more time. So we're going to go layer, new, layer. All right. <clears throat> and then once again, we are going to drag. And and guys, let me mention there's there's a number of different ways you can do this. Um, this is just the way I've done it, or the way I do it. I'm sorry. And uh, and it works for me. Quality looks good. All that sort of stuff. So place the image now with our pen tool still selected um, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to get as close to the original mask as you can I mean the mask of the bottom as you can just so that you don't have any gaps sometimes uh, I even will overlay it just a tiny tiny bit and just so that it uh, you don't get any white lines or anything like that or any gaps between the uh, between the masks so now we're going to go do the top create vector mask all right so now we have the top we have all of our layers if we put them all on there then oh see there we go there's a gap right there but it doesn't really matter for this but that that's exactly what I'm talking about maybe this is a good thing you can see what I mean so you see that's why you maybe want to create a little overlap here so that you don't uh, uh, you know get get this gap because that'll be transparent and and while the very next frame is going to be it transitioning into the actual clip uh, you know you, you don't want that either way so what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to save each layer as an individual image. So you'll go File, Save As, and see again. This is this you know typically you want to keep it the same uh, the same codec. So I'm going to use PNG again, but again if you use TIFF or, or something like that, you know maybe use that. I'm going to use PNG. So um, so yeah. So we'll, we'll I, I save them as top, bottom, and gun. I like to label them so then I know that this is the top, this is the bottom, and this is the gun. So, okay, so see, and as you can see, I'm not sure if I mentioned, only the one layer is selected. So just so that when it saves, it's just this here, just the top, and then this will be transparent right here. Okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to unselect this layer, select the next one, and then you're going to go in again, file, save as, uh, you know, whatever you're going to label them, you know, bottom, whatever, I'll just do bot, uh, make sure you're in PNG. And, uh, and then save it again. And then lastly, same thing, you're going to, after that saves, you're going to unselect that one, select that one, and then file, save as, etc., etc. And then you're going to have three different images of different areas on, the, uh, on your image. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take those images back into Photoshop. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, into Premiere Pro. Okay? 
So now, all you got to do is you're just going to, so, you know, top, gun, bottom, you know, I named them bot or whatever, but top, gun, bottom, and then you're just going to drag them and drop them. Copy. Copy. Oh, that's not the right one. We want this one. Because these ones are cut up a little bit better, so I'll use these. Um, and then top. Okay, so there, so there's those, our top, bottom, and the gun. So now what you're going to do is... Per, I, I put the gun on top because then you want that you want that to overlay uh, you want it on top of the other layers okay so find where you want the transition to come in so we'll say you know that that looks good right there all right and then you're gonna have it stop right when the next clip starts so see you go to the very end of this And you click forward. See, as you can see, the gun's already in the exact same spot. It's thick because this, the 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 image that you use to create your puzzle pieces is this very first frame. So uh, that's exactly what we want. So now what we're going to do is we have the gun on top. Then we'll bring in the bottom. Put that at the very same spot there. Again, ends right at the end of the clip. And then we have the top. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so now, as you can see, that, oh, and see, there's a problem there. See, it, it's not going to make a huge difference, but the size, when I, when I cropped it in to get rid of the black bars, I messed up the, the size a little bit. So, so you've got to make sure that the, the size that you're using here, the size that you render out, is the same as the original, uh, as the PNG that you're going to be creating. So, um, all right, so now we'll go ahead, and again, this is just tutorial purposes. Uh, I'm hoping you guys just get the idea and uh, and can go from there and, and get creative with this. Um, okay, so now we're going to animate each one of these. We'll start with the gun, so we'll turn off these layers so we can't see them. So we just have the gun now. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, and and I'm sure you guys know how to animate and all that sort of stuff. But if not, I'll do the one one or two layers. So okay, so th let's say I want it to be fully, you know, in the image by right by right here, you know, about a, you know, what's that about a half second in. So we're going to create a keyframe, then we'll go back to the beginning. And then we're going to animate it out. So I just want it to come straight in from the bottom, so I'm just going to have it like that. So now when you play it forward, it comes in from the bottom. Okay? So now you're going to want to choose your next spot where you want the next piece to come in and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to motion, you're going to uh, create a keyframe and I just create the keyframe just so that I know you don't necessarily have to create that one yet because that's the one you're going to be changing uh, but I like to create it just so that I, ha I know where the last one, the last piece, where that ended and where it stopped moving, stopped you know the animation. So then you'll create another keyframe here to, to so that it's fully in. Oh, better make sure that we can see it too. Okay, so now we can see it. It's fully in. We'll go back to this. Make sure that it's on. And it turns black when you're on the keyframe you created. So see, it's gray now. It's black now. All right, so now we'll just animate that right out the bottom. And, that, and it automatic when you start also you know if I hadn't created that keyframe as soon as you start moving that stuff it'll automatically create a keyframe if keyframe if you have the stopwatch click so now you see that coming in from the bottom all right and then lastly we'll do the top again we'll go to the we'll go to about the end for this just so that right when it come finishes coming in the clip actually starts so then we'll do we'll create a key uh, excuse me we'll we'll create a we'll create a keyframe at the end because that's where we want it to that's where we want it to stop animating we'll make it so we can see it okay so here's this here's this keyframe here or now we'll create another keyframe with it animating from the top okay so now as it animates in comes down and see you see it fits perfectly with the clip that's because that that very first frame you see that's that is the actual clip that's gonna that's that's movie that's not a still image okay so now let's make all these visible and uh, we'll just kind of scroll through this real quick. Gun comes in, bottom comes in, top comes in, and then the clip starts. So see, that looks nice. It's a nice effect. Then you'll render it out, get it looking the way you want. Um, if you're going to be doing color corrections, make sure you add the color correction before so that it applies to the still image when you render that out. Um, and, that's, and that's that, guys. I'll go ahead and add... Um,
the uh, the final outcome to the uh, to the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have questions please post if you have uh, other uh, tutorials you would like to see please post comments um, you know uh, I actually enjoy doing these quite a bit so um, you know tutorials have really helped me in the past and I uh, hope these help you so thanks a lot guys take it easy please rate comment and subscribe uh, peace out Standing by. <laughs> <laughs>